Hey everybody, welcome back to another career tutorial. Today we're going to go over the next layer mask in our layer mask series. So we're going to continue using this artwork. But I'm going to stick with the color layer this time just so we can see a lot of what's happening. And we're going to right click on that and add a filter mask. So a filter mask is going to do exactly what we want, which is going to add a filter to that layer. So these filters are also available up here. The only difference is now we can make that a filter mask so it's not a permanent um, change to that layer. So now we can say, okay, we need to take um, adjust some colors. We're going to desaturate this a little bit. Change the luminosity on it, the average. We can change the color balance if we need to. You know, we can do this stuff. And we can do it without making a permanent change. And this is very helpful when you're just trying to mess with something. Like for example, if this were a piece of artwork where I was trying to get some ideas down and I need to change the colors or the color scheme, I can do that with the color balance to just kind of get some things, you know, working, just to get some ideas going. Like if I changed it to where's it going this around a little bit. This is actually not going the way I want it to. Add some more blue. Okay, we'll just leave it about here. So this has a really nice color tone to it already. Maybe I'm like, okay, I like this. It's different than the original colors I put down. I can use this for maybe a color scheme that is used in a darker area of an illustration or something like that. That's something that I can do right away. I can hit OK. I have this filter mask. And we're going to add another one. Another filter mask. There we go. Alright, so now we can do, okay, I like that color scheme, but I want to change the levels a little bit and we can start tweaking that. We can make them darker, lighter, and blow this out a little bit more. You know, Maybe this is going to be like, hey, if there's a bright light in the room, this would be a color scheme I would use for a bright, brightly lit area. You know, something like that. It's a very quick and easy way to use the filters with non-destructive editing. And then we have a bunch of artistic ones. We have the half. I'm not going to go over every one, every single uh, filter, because there are quite a number of them. But you can quickly see how they affect things before I even commit to anything, which is also very handy. So if you're not sure what kind of filter is going to work with your, the illustration or on that layer, you can go through and test things out before committing to it. So I'm actually gonna to go to colors and I'm just going to pick something a little crazy. I think this was pretty cool last time I was playing with it. I'm gonna hit okay. So as before in the first video, we can see that we have two of our filter masks now. We can turn them on and off, so I can say, all right, I like this one, I like that one. You know, all that fun stuff. So if I want to change this, I can right click and go to properties. And I have that specific filter mask set up here, so I can go ahead and change this if I want. I'm actually going to turn it off so we can see that. So if you use, so you're not going to be able to change the type of filter that you've used, but you can at least modify the one that you've picked. And this isn't going to be available for everything. Um, some filters will not have like options to actually change. And I'll show you that in a second. All right, so we've changed that. That looks good. So this one, if you right click and hit properties, you can see there's no configura configuration options available for that filter. That one that we picked, which was the uh, minimized channel, didn't really have any options. It was just kind of basic to what um, you could do with it. Go back to filter mask, the minimize. You can see it's there isn't too much to do for these three. I'm sorry for these two. Okay, so if you like one of these filters for whatever reason but you're not able to convert it to a paint layer because sometimes because it's mask it's only masking off and affecting a specific area in that layer that you've picked what you can do is you can turn some layers off and make a new layer from that image 
So I want to turn my background layer off, which is white. I'm going to make sure that this is transparent by going to image properties. Background opacity should be at zero. So I only have the color layer and this uh, color balance filter mask on. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to do a new layer from visible. I'm going to move this down here. Actually, I'm going to move that up one. So now we turn the line art layer on. I turn this filter mask off. I now retained that filter that I just applied on its own individual layer. So I can go ahead and lower the transparency or the opacity on it if I want. I can use some uh, other layer effects if I want to do a gamma, you know, like gray merge, um, do divide. You can do some pretty cool things with it. So I think that's pretty neat. And you can tell that it's transparent and not just keeping a checkerboard. I have this empty layer here. I'm going to increase my brush size and I'm just gonna color in here. So it is going over this because right now this has a layer um, effect on it. If I go to normal and I put the opacity back up, now you can see it's a transparent normal layer. And I can go, oops, I'm on the wrong layer. <laughs> I can go through and color behind the converted filter mask now. And that's just a fun little way to get around the convert. And that's it for the filter mask layer. There are a lot of options to this. Um, a ton of different scenarios that you may use these in. The boss is interesting. You have really interesting maps you can use. Um, interesting adjust artistic ones. The half tone is actually pretty neat. Um, it, it, it does affect or it's affected by um, the shades of the color like the values and everything which is pretty cool. There's just a lot you can do with a filter mask that uh, gives you more flexibility and if you don't like it you won't have to worry about losing your original layer. Alright, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something with the layer uh, filter mask and I hope you're able to use it in your own work. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And I will see you in the next video.